In April this year, the Upper North Farming Systems Group held a seeder comparison day at Bullaroo Centre. 11 seeders were trialled, each sowing two passes of barley into wheat stubble with 24 variables including land cultivated before seeding and differing forms of fertilisers. The 46 hectare site was sprayed two days before seeding with 2.5 litres per hectare of box of gold. Each pass was sown with 70 kilos per hectare of high mush barley and 70 kilos per hectare of DAP, except where liquid fertilisers were trialled. Event organiser Joe Coff. Hoping to achieve out of this trial uh, uh, on the performance of each um, cedar. Uh, this area is probably um, is a bit on slow on the uptake of no-till. There's still a lot of conventional um, tillage happening. Um, and we figured that this would be a good opportunity for a lot of people to come and have a look right from the conventional right up to the um, modern day current up-to-date seeding systems. The day gave growers the opportunity to look at a range of different seeder setups. Wurabra farmer Russell Zwar brought the only disc seeder along to the day. So this is our John Deere 1890 single disc seeder. We bought it in 2009 and it's set up on seven and a half inch row spacings and we've also plumbed the air kit so we can uh, seed on 15 inch rows on every second row so we seed all our cereals on seven and a half inches and all our uh, canola and legumes on 15 inch spacings. It's just a standard John Deere single disc machine there's nothing aftermarket about it it's a uh, single disc opener with a uh, small seed firming wheel that presses the seed into the bottom of the slot and then the, the closer wheel comes behind and, and, and covers covers the crop up. Predominantly bought the machine because we want to be able to seed into any amount of residue that we can and with the least soil disturbance so we want to go into stubbles that you'd never get through with a knife point machine and, and it does that pretty well. Now at this stage we're very happy with the machine um, you know you, you just got to be on the ball a bit more like a knife point will do a good job in even virtually any situation whereas your discs if you've got a lot of residue or damp weather or sticky soils, you just got to plan things a bit better, but at this stage, very happy with it. Trial coordinator Todd Oreck lent his Bullaroo Centre paddock for the trial. He also sowed passes with his primary sales precision cedar, along with the control strips for the day. We've got here a um, uh, Flexicoil um, SC230 uh, hopper, 8 tonne hopper, running variable rate, fitted by Topcon, um, hooked up to a primary sales precision bar. Um, which is 14.3 metres wide, 260 mil um, tine spacing, uh, it's over six rows. Um, we can have variable tine um, breakout pressure up to about 1,500 foot pound at the, um, at the tip. The uh, points are primary sails, they slip on with two roll pins, the boats are primary sails, everything on this is primary sails and we've gone for the wide press wheel to stop, uh, stop the seed tube going too deep. We aim to sow the seed between 25 and 20 mil. Um, we probably uh, cultivate down to about 80 to 100 mil and we try to put the soil, uh, the fertiliser through the whole profile. The air cart has been very accurate, we've had it for a while and we trust it. And um, we sow at about 8.5 to 9 kilometres now. Yeah, very happy with the cedar. Uh, it's done everything we've asked of it at this stage. And um, once we get all our lines set up, it'll work even better. Cedar comparison trials were popularised by the Lowbank Ag Bureau who undertook a similar project in 2012. The format encourages grower involvement through participation, multiple variables, as well as ge generating tangible data specific to local soils and conditions. No-till advocate David Humphreys thinks cedar comparison trials are the way forward. I think these cedar demonstrations, well, comparison days, you probably call them, are going to uh, really take off. Like farmers are showing a great interest in turning up, and they want to see machines in the same paddock on the same day. The paddock was EM38 surveyed shortly before seeding and crop yields have been monitored for the past seven seasons. This data will be used to enhance trial information after harvest later on this year. Crop emergence will be closely monitored and communicated in an upcoming video. More information on the trial can be found through the Upper North Farming System Group's Facebook page.